my dear friends in Jesus Christ I really pity the people listening to Jesus on that day he always say the stuff that they really can't understand really can't grasp and today Jesus says I am the bread of life which came down from heaven and whoever eats of this bread will live forever the bread is my flesh and they when they when they start murmuring he adds in the later in the gospel and you have to drink my blood too eat my flesh drink my blood really yes really but we don't find what he says too strange that is us me and you because we have the advantage of knowing about the death of Jesus his resurrection and his ascension into heaven we also have the advantage of the holy spirit who as Jesus promised teaches us all things but for the people more than 2000 years ago they were just listening to him listening to Jesus see the weirdest things and can and one cannot help but feel sorry for them for not understanding his words however do we understand him even with the benefit of what we know do we understand what jesus is saying here today for us listen again very truly i tell you jesus says unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood you have no life in you is there life within us and what kind of life it is are we the people bursting with life love joy and peace or are we the people who are dead inside always sad lonely miserable anxious and frightened my dear friends we all know nothing can fill us but god alone so saint augustine says you have made us for yourself o lord and our hearts can never be at rest until they rest in you when we go without food for a certain amount of time we feel hunger pangs which is our body is telling us that it requires nourishment so we eat but because we are trapped within a human body we are not always conscious of our spiritual hunger this is why we need to do checks like we just did and ask the question do we have life in us if we don't perhaps we have not been filling ourselves with the nourishment that our soul needs but you say i receive the body and blood of christ daily oh i used to do it anyway 
but still i feel sad i feel dead that should have indicated a problem and what problem that we did did not do a soul check my dear friend jesus says all the time today especially in the flesh the jesus flesh that we are consuming which has his body and blood itself our bodies consequently need to be tabernacles not only in the church that we have where god resides in the holy eucharist but whenever we receive him we become tabernacles of god and have you ever seen a tabernacle that is dirty we are outraged if we ever come to know that one has been desecrated can we say the same thing about our bodies and this is why st paul also tells us to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to god and this is our proper worship true and proper worship we have often taken the body and blood of christ for granted so many times imagine the living god coming into our lives only in this religion here i am coming to you when the priest says the body of christ we say amen yes we believe so as we go on taking the living god in our tabernacles of this body and my dear friends but sometimes we realize the value of something only when it is taken away from us when we are able to consume him again and today in the holy mass let us do so with much eagerness opening not just our mouths to receive him but our hearts too and we will have life in us that is why in the psalms we said taste and see the goodness of our lord yes we are tasting it but not realizing the power that god has in our lives feel it and we will have life in us amen